Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever we are on this spinning planet, fast forward planet, still wrapped in a pandemic and very much heating as a result of human activities these, these recent decades, more to come. Anybody, all my friends out in the Pacific Northwest, including uh, Western Canada, hang on for the ride. It's uh, quite a ride the next few days there um, on Twitter. Folks can get a view here. The uh, one of the many wonderful tweeting meteorologists, Scott Duncan, who has pulled together some pretty scary uh, visualizations of what's called the anomaly. Where you see red, it means it's warmer than it typically is. And then there's actually white zones there that are off the charts there in the middle of that uh, north western North America. Here's what the jet stream is doing. It's in a very unusual loop. Uh, it's a heat dome, as they call it. Here's Tyler Hamilton. He says it's an unfathomable temperature anomaly. So there's a new word for this, unfathomable, uh, unfathomable. So, but today in the mornings on Sundays, we focus on uh, staying cool through music and uh, the arts. I'm great, it's my great, great pleasure to have Zoe Plate and John Munson and Dylan. And I had the screen too small to read Dylan's uh, last name. Sorry, Dylan. Uh, all from the Minneapolis area, uh, and we'll be joined in a half hour or so by some of my best friends, musical friends, here in uh, the Hudson Valley. Thanks for being here today, everybody. Yeah, right on. Having us. Very happy to be here. Yeah, it is. It is hard to watch what's happening out west. Thankfully, it's, we actually got a little bit of rain finally in uh, in the Twin Cities, which is is very welcome because we've had a uh super hot early part of the summer very unseasonably warm weather for a, a long time with no rain at all. all all the i mean all the all the garden plants in my yard are just kind of said okay we're done now we're, we're <laughs> waiting until next year <laughs> thank oh, you man well let's get right into the music john has a very long musical history in that great city which has spurred so much great music Semisonic, which you're probably best known for, is just one chapter in your musical life. And here you have with Dylan Hicks uh, presenting another chapter. And you're going into a recording studio later today to do more work. Can you just give a quick snapshot of where you're at musically these days? Well, Dylan and I have been really uh, very busily doing a lot of music during COVID, which has been great. I, 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 I'm sure you're aware most musicians have had to take a big long break or find new ways to to connect with audience because any kind of live performance is right out the window but we put out a record during covid and um and uh yeah there it is munson hicks party supplies um <laughs> and actually dylan has been so damn pro pro uh, prolific he he put out another record just like two weeks ago so wow um, as, as, as uh, you know, it's it's giving us time, you know, to to find to do music, which has been great. But we're going to do a song from um, this record that we put together. That's ab about it's about a hot place. That's all. It's not really about climate change, but it does it does deal with the uh, issue of heat and light. Uh, it's called the mask. Cool. Should we go right into it? Go for it. All right. One, two, three. It was a hot day, round about noon, city in view. I'd be there soon. I sang do 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 along with the band. I was a slob king of the connoisseurs, gently kicking against the spurs. If you knew me back then, you'd understand. But with the Howard Johnson's gateway beckoning ahead, something overcame me. Thought I might be dead. A bright light outshone the sun. I put the visor down. I thought to run. If you knew me back then, you'd understand. You 
done some bad things all by choice. An angry, disembodied voice that cried do, 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 into my hands. But with the Howard Johnson's gateway receding out of view, a shout came from the next car. Sounded just like you. We were wearing our sunglasses on the road to Damascus. Still, we were blind for several days. And if you come right out and ask us on the road to Damascus, I'd say we're likely to believe. Take a long look, honey, I am not the same. If you knew me back then, you'd understand. I put an old chair in a new room. I wrote the same six notes with the nom de plume. They go do, 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 along with the band. But with the Howard Johnson's gateway receding out of view, a shout came from the next car, sounded just like you. We were wearing our sunglasses on the road to Damascus. Still, we were blind for several days. And if you come right out and ask us on the road to Damascus, I'd say we're likely to. Oh, it was lower than molasses Thrown out on our asses All our grand plan upon achieved But if you come right out and ask us On the road to Damascus I'd say we're likely to believe I'd say we're ready I'd say we're likely to Oh, spectacular. What a yeah. fine tune. Yeah, Dylan is an amazing songwriter. This record was kind of conceived as we I've worked on a record with Dylan before, produced his uh, previous record called <laughs> Add Out, and we just like working with each other so much that he was like, hey, I got an idea. I'll write a book of tunes and you sing them. And I was like, sounds good to me. <laughs> Very cool. Where is this most easy to find online? Um, well, all the streaming services or the, probably the, my main hub is Bandcamp. So if you search Dylan Hicks Bandcamp, you can see how I did together as well as some of my other records. And you can get it on vinyl yeah, at that location, which LP is too, kind see. of nice. Yeah. That's great. Uh, you described yourself on Twitter as an obscure 70s songwriter. It's, that, it doesn't sound like you're that obscure though. It sounds beautiful. Well. I mean, I am obscure, but I'm also very good. <laughs> well, maybe less, maybe less so now. <laughs> now that you're on this amazingly popular show, <laughs> what a good, what a cool song. Um, I, I hope folks can check out stuff too. We're we'll circle back, circle back to you in a second. Okay. And and, and Zoe, uh, what's your what brought you into music? You know, and and we talk a little bit about Miss Misery. Um. 
Well, what brought me your alter music, ego? Uh, yeah, uh, I was born, and then I was into music. And <laughs> I I've always been a singer. I've always been a songwriter. I've always been a storyteller. Um, what I've got for you today is a couple of, of um, original songs, and um, they aren't. So I, I don't really have a setup for piano here. So I've got the instrumental track that I'll just play, but it is a recording of me playing. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah. So I've just, I just, I mean, I got into the Little Mermaid when I was a little kid, and that inspired me to sing and dye my hair red. And so now I, um, I run a blog called Miss Misery where I talk about mental health and that sort of thing. And it sort of evolved itself into a music handle. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I'd <laughs> love to hear a tune. Sure. Yeah, so this one's called Paper Stars. It's a song that I wrote. It's a love song to San Francisco, a la Tony Bennett. Mm. Um, and in, you know, speaking of like the Western United States, I feel like it's an appropriate thing to sing a nice love song to the people out there, especially considering the next few days and what they're going to be facing. Climate sure. change -wise. So, uh, yeah, this is Paper Stars. Let's see here. Paradise and concrete, weeds blooming in your avenues, painted city streets, memories now so new. Remember me, I grew up in you. Sun Francisco, you've always had a heartbeat. Breathing color painted by the salty sea. Singing life into the breeze. Trace your winding city streets. And if October doesn't mind, I'll gather up his golden leaves and whisper to them what I've tried until now to always hide. Fold each leaf into a star, paint them in your bright pastels, slip them into trolley cars and every little seashell. Pennies for your wishing well. San Francisco, you'll always have a heartbeat. Breathing color painted by the salty sea, singing life into the breeze. Green memories on ocean waves, pink gratitude blown through the fair, gold harmonies bridge the blue pieces of my heart bear on every lovely theater chair. San Francisco, you're healing my scars. I trust you with my sweet dreams circulating from your heart folded up in paper stars folded up in paper Beautiful. What a voice. 
and beautiful words. <laughs> great mix. Great morning. Thank you. So, again, <laughs> something about Minnesota. I'm not quite sure what it is. Minneapolis. It's where the cool people congregate. That's I guess that's I, it. I, I guess that's it. Uh, hold on. I got to unmute uh, John there. <laughs> hey, John, I was muting you. Just uh, say it, but I'm glad somebody did. What, what Zoe just said. So you didn't have to run back and forth to your computer. Really cool, uh, especially because of the heat, the heat out west. You know, that kind of sound is uh, is um, a tonic. I just tweeted a tonic for all that ails. Um, and the blog looks really cool too. I'm gonna explore that. Zoe, so John, are you are you kind of a musical theater kid, or or more like um, where do you where do you play in, in Minneapolis? I'm curious. So I actually moved here right as the pandemic started and I haven't had a chance to really do anything yet. Um, I plan to just do uh, my original songs, piano vocal for the most part. And um, I really, I'm looking forward to doing some performances once everything opens back up again. Good. Any, any suggestions for venues? Um, well, you know, that I do have one suggestion that a, a room that is kind of small, it's also outside of the Twin Cities, but they have a beautiful piano. And um, it's, I mean, intimate might be a nice word for it. It's called crooners. It's just north of town. And it's, it's a very, um, it's very friendly to uh, singers. Um, so it might be it might be worth checking. It's off the beaten path a little bit, but they stayed open and hosted music almost all through COVID, which was like a miracle. And I think it's because the guy who was booking it was a musician, and he saw that there was a, a real need for that, and so he just figured out a way to do it. He basically built a, 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 a COVID-friendly performance venue outside of the main building under a tent and then heated the tent and did distanced performances. It was really cool. <clears throat> or the Dakota. That the Dakota would be a great place for you, but it's a it's a tougher room to get into. But I wish you luck. I I, I like the sound. It's really cool. Me too. So John, I hear you had uh, you and Dylan have a smokier song in mind too. Yeah, well, well, they say where there's fire, there's smoke. Isn't that what the saying is, Andrew? <laughs> yeah, in both directions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not exactly uh, about climate either, but but uh, it does have the word smoke in it. <laughs> oh, one, two. Hey, it's all right, brother. It happens to the very best. Sheena Easton to Heady West. Everybody fails a test. Yeah, you know the words. You just don't know where they're at. The paint sharp, the notes are flat. You owe a dollar when they pass the hat. See, I've been there, that's why I'm here. Where in I die instead of cash me the eternal volunteer every chance I get I choke ain't no fire only smoke I can see my little knees Shaking on a wooden chair My father couldn't be there The teacher had gray hair My growth that year, she said Was truly exponential As she spoke of my potential It was even presidential Somewhere my pace began to slow on the road from Judy Bloom to Michelle Foucault. What I didn't know then, I still don't know. 
Not every acorn yields an oak. What if there isn't fire, only smoke? I sang for my supper. I lost at my love. I was the town's least favorite son. So if everything doesn't just fall in your lap, you may have heard you're not the only one. We'll hold that thing with feathers, even with ostrich wings. There's another side of things, a granny knot on the second string. Life is not a contest, sure ain't a fair fight. There'll be some short sticks and long nights, get her out of the spotlight. To overcook your dinner in a pan. And the grease will spatter on your hand. You open up a window, you turn on the fan. Later on, you let those dishes soak. There ain't no fire, only smoke. Ashes to ashes. First cried to last call. There ain't no fire, only smoke. <laughs> Another great tune. Thank really. You. Thanks. Wow. So Zoe, uh, do you have another song in mind? It's you know, it's an hour earlier there, right? Than in this year. It's always I sometimes have people in California on the show and the West Coast, and they're really, really kind of getting up early. So, uh, but this is earlier too. So thank you both for being here, all of you for being here this morning. Yeah. Uh, so, Zoe, what else is on your musical mind as we get going on this wacky day? Oh, sorry, you're muted. Uh, let me see if that's yeah. You just have to unmute. You think so? I'm um, I'm just finishing up my undergrad degree, and all of my classes for the past two semesters have been on Zoom. And you think by now? I would have figured out to unmute myself. Oh, same here. You know, I've done 200 of these shows and uh, not to mention being online for this stuff and every day. Do we be muting ourselves? We didn't. No, he's muting us. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah th that way you don't have to sprint over to the other end of the piano. Uh, by the way, John and Dylan, if you have something to say, maybe just wave at me and I'll unmute you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just like. So um, cool. I'll do a song for you now that uh, it's, a, it's a cover of an Evanescence song. It's maybe one of the only Evanescence songs that I would say is appropriate for a meeting like this. A lot of them are quite angry and sad, but this one's very beautiful. Um, and I've, I've loved the song since it came out 15 years ago, so this is good enough. say no to you. Crave my heart and it's bleeding in your hand. I can't say no to you. Shouldn't let you torture me so sweetly. Now I can't let go of this dream. I can't breathe, but I feel good enough. I feel good.
Such a long time coming, but I feel good, and I'm still waiting for the rain to fall. Pouring life down on me, 'cause I. Can't hold on to anything this good enough. Am I good enough for you to love me too? Very cool, beautiful. Who 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 performed that when it first came out? What was the main? Uh, where did it come out? That was Evanescence. That was one of their first studio albums. Ah, okay, okay. Pretty magical. Yeah, yeah it's, so, it's so it's so golden. It's so bright. There's so much color in it. It always kind of refreshes me, you know. Yeah, it took me away from my uh, travails. <laughs> I'm on deadline all weekend, getting ready to launch a new column. So mm -hmm. my brain, a big chunk of my brain is focused on that, but it, all, that, all that went away. So, Andrew, are you in New York City or where are you? Here we are talking. I live in the Hudson. Yeah, you're back on. I unmuted okay. you. <laughs> oh, you're in the Hudson Valley? Yeah, in the Hudson Valley, about an hour north of New York City, right near where we're Out of the state. Yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah. I, I love the paintings of it. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, the light is still magical, um, and the landscape is amazing. You know, you think back to the history here, the Lenape, and then there's there's you know Revolutionary War stuff everywhere, and yeah. early days of the Industrial Revolution. This place I like to walk, where um, it used to be a foundry where they made cannon barrels for the the Parrot guns that helped the North win the, the Civil War, and uh, now it's this overgrown kind of. Uh, area they're just little vestiges of that that have been turned into kind of an outdoor museum it's a really cool place for that reason the, the one sad thing about i mean not to focus on sadness but it's just <clears throat> around the twin cities of course we have the mississippi flowing through and and just the way that rivers were just treated as um you know an opportunity to just dump waste you know? oh yeah i actually i wrote a one of my first big packages at the New York Times, 
was about the revival of the Hudson River. And what it was about was a changed attitude toward the river. The river was uh, literally a waste. Whoops, sorry guys, I gotta mute you. Hold on. Ah, I thought they were muted. Uh, they're coming on in a minute. Um, you know, the Hudson River was literally a place to dump your waste. Yeah, in fact, so, as, as was in Mississippi and, and <coughs> Minneapolis is definitely following that same lead in terms of the relationship to the river, viewing it as a, a, a precious natural resource rather than just a dumping ground for whatever. Although there's still vestigial businesses that are, are still trying to trying to treat it uh, as poorly as they possibly can as we yeah. try to run them out of town. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's quite sad to watch it happen because it's just like, look, this, your business model is over. You know, get get out. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, let me introduce the other gang here, which is so cool to see. They're in uh, Jacob's Jake's Main Street Music in Beacon, New York, which is becoming like Brooklyn on Hudson. David is a two-time Grammy winner for helping produce Pete Seeger's last two albums, and the music store owner. And David, and and there's a there's some real microphone scratchy noise. I'm not sure what it is. It's really pretty bad. Scratchy microphone. It's like it's, it's like it's rubbing on someone's shirt, but it's not. How about now? Any better? Uh, oh yeah, that's better. Okay. And good. Good morning. Have a, we have good a morning. Good morning. We have a little speaker running in the room, which may really not be able, able to be on there. So, so far, so good. Okay. Uh, how's our volume? Good. Hello, hello. Good. If I play the guitar, can you hear it? Sure can. Sounds great. Okay. So, so okay. The, here's so Zoe Plate, Zoe Plate, uh, and John Munson and Dylan Hicks in Minneapolis meet David Burns. Karen Brooks, Melissa Ortquist, Lori Siegel, and I don't know who else might be in the room, but Jake, Jacob in is in the back room, but he'll come in in a minute. In and Beacon, you guys sounded great. It was awesome hearing you. Fantastic. Yeah, so Thank you. Really and we, you know, Zoe and John and Dylan, you can hang in. So, because uh, we'll do a little back and forth thing uh, if you want. Uh, but let's just catch maybe, maybe a first morning tune or two from the gang there in Beacon. And one little funny bit of tidbit, uh, David. Th th this part of the Hudson Valley has become a music production hub, and Woody Harrelson popped into the store recently and bought a guitar for his daughter, which is oh, pretty wow. cool. Very cool. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. I hope it was an expensive one. <laughs> <laughs> no. A huge markup. <laughs> no, but it's interesting with so much movie production happening in this area. A couple of weeks before that, a, a guy ran in from a movie set and said, I need guitars that would have existed in 1972. We're filming the Watergate show, the plumbers. And uh, I had two guitars that were one built in 68, one built in 72. We bought them both and ran out. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Oh support support that I local economy. I, into yeah. a bit of home. I, that, I, I have to say that makes me happy for you, but maybe slightly sad for music. And the idea of a guitar disappearing into a production closet is, is no. a sad is a sad uh, destiny for an instrument made in 1968 but well, i'm gonna exactly. go it afterwards yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> well maybe maybe it'll end up being like wasn't there a movie once that traced a 20 dollars bill through a whole like 24 hours and like the bill went through all the, maybe we could just trace that guitar through time going forward i bet it'll come back out of the closet and get used again i hope so yeah so david and the gang uh what you got in, on your musical mind yeah okay. Well, here's one. Um, we hope you, you all in Minneapolis sing along and read it, of course. One day we'll all be able to get together and uh, sing it together. But yeah, here we go. Oh, that doesn't sound right. And the company thinks, and the deputy sheriff who made the red She went to the union hall where a meeting it was called. And when the company boys came round, she always stood her ground. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Till the day I 
I die. This union maid was wise to the tricks of the company spies. She'd never be fooled by the company stools. She'd organize the gals and guys. She'd always get her way when she struck for higher pay. She'd show her card to the company guard, and this is what she'd say. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union till the day I die. Women who want to be free, take a little tip from me. Break out of that mold you've all been sold. We got to fight in history, the fight for women's rights. With workers must unite, and like Mother Jones, just shake those bones to the front of every fight. Oh, you can't scare me, I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me, I'm sticking to the union, I'm sticking to the union, till the day I die. One more time. Oh, you can't scare me, I'm sticking to the union, I'm sticking to the union, I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me, I'm sticking to the union, I'm sticking to the union, till the day I die. She's in the music store, a good place to break a string. Hey, there's a, there's a place to plug Jake's Main Street music. Yeah. Place to buy yep. a string. If you're going to break it, yeah, there you go. How was, that, how was that sound quality? Was it tolerable or pretty bad? That was great. Yeah, it was actually, okay. I think it was really okay. good. Okay. Really good. I'm going to mute us, though, for now. I bet you guys are going to be on. Go. Well, well, let's 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 slip in one more from you all, uh, just because you're so organized there. You're all together, uh, and then um, we'll go back to uh, Minneapolis for a couple and circle back. Is that okay. Well, no, Jacob has one in mind, so I'm not. Yeah, but I want to do without love at some point, but with Jacob too, right? Okay. So we could do. Um, you want to do like De Coloris or? Or you want to do the, the Utah Phillips? Oh, oh, the Utah Phillips, right? The same. Key. Oh, totally. Is that the moon I see away in the west, just a head like me, seeing no express, I know she's gone, whatever I say, and it won't be long. Till I make up my mind and go away. Is that the sun come up on the eastern shore? Just a cold fire gleam through the firebox door. I know she's gone. Whatever I say, and it won't be long till I make up my mind and go away. See that man can hear the whistle, blind old fool. Out on a trestle, again go on, can't go back. Train come along and brush them off the track. Other storms may blow, and the winds may rise. Still long to go, where the fast mail flies. I know she's gone, whatever I say, 
and it won't be long till I make up my mind and go away. I know I butcher. I don't do the same timing he did, but I. Beautiful. We don't know the other timing, so it sounds good over here. <laughs> Unless you're a big Utah fan, and then you would know. Right? Well, now, we're gonna, now we are going to be that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he, he was a great. Uh, really amazing guy. Actually, yeah. Ani, Ani, didn't Ani DeFranco do a tour with him? She did, yes. and she did an album with him. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah, quite yeah, an yeah. album, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Politically, yeah. they were really on track together. It was pretty amazing. Totally different generations and different backgrounds, but boy, yeah. John, what were you going to say? I, I was going to say, Andrew, are you, are you familiar with the Minneapolitan named Larry Long? No. Yes. Okay. He's done a lot I, of, I don't know what he's doing these days, but he's a folk singer and songwriter, but also an archivist who did a lot of oral histories and would combine oh. that with his music and also an, an activist. Look him up. I, I haven't seen him for a long time, but we used to be in an office together, and mm. he would be a great guy to reach out to. Some point. Oh, very very long. Long. Very long. He was involved very with Clearwater for a little while. And I've I, heard of him. Yeah, me too. Cool. I've heard of him, but I don't know who he was. All right, yeah. we're going to mute. Well, we'll try to track him down. That'd be great. I'd love to get him on the on the show if we can. Um, so, so Zoe and, and John and Dylan, if you had one more tune each, it'd be awesome to, to try to get oh. something in. And if, if anyone has to go, just let us know too. I, I'm I'm gonna have to go, but we do have we do have one more ready to go. Cool. Uh, you've got your banjo on though, and I'm kind of wondering if you don't want to do a tune. Well, I but I can wait if you're if time is crunched. Uh, I'd, like I, to, I, I, I'd rather I'd like to hear you play though before I have. Oh, to, you okay. Better. It's a quickie. It, it's okay. it, it's called Breakneck Ridge. And it's about this part of the Hudson Valley. My good friends there normally sing spectacular harmonies on it, but of course, that would be physics hell if they tried. So here we go. Oh, let, let me just mute you guys for a second. Oh, that's good. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I came from old New England's shores. I miss those salty tides. 
my friends from Rocky Mountains high. They crave their starry skies. Some flock to California towns where sunsets glow like ale. But it's Hudson River banks and hills that make my soul set sail. From Breakneck Ridge to the Bear Mountain Bridge and all that lies between. In autumn's gold and winter snows and spring and summer's green. A billion years of time and toil are etched in these old hills. Carved by ice and dynamite, but they stand firm here still. Seen tomahawks and cannon fire and mighty industries. But these Hudson Highlands will endure when we are history. From Breakneck Ridge to the Bear Mountain Bridge and all that lies between. In autumn's gold and winter snows and spring and summer's green. I've been around this whole wide world. I've been up toward the pole. But when I die, please let me lie in Hudson Valley soil. From Breakneck Ridge to the Bear Mountain Bridge and all that lies between. In autumn's gold and winter snows and spring and summer's green. One more time. From Breakneck Ridge to the Bear Mountain Bridge and all that lies between. In autumn's gold and winter snows and spring and summer's green. I took your heart. There you go. Nice forest in the background here. <laughs> that was great. We should just do it for Love you. Love it. Thank you. We, we, yeah. I like any song that contemplates the uh, possibility of being buried. You know, <laughs> bury, bury me and bury me in the dirt. I know. Don't don't bury me somewhere that I'm not familiar with. I want to be buried here in Minnesota, and you can be buried in Hudson Valley, and that's going to be just great. <laughs> or, or 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 sprinkled, more likely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I wrote that. Uh, we live in the Hudson Islands between the Bear Mountain Bridge and Breakneck Ridge and et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, it, so you it, wrote that too? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I, I, yeah. I, thought, was, I, was, I thought that was like some old classic. Awesome. Oh, it, well, it is. I wrote it 15 years ago, so I guess that makes it a classic. <laughs> it's on its way. Old at any, old at any rate. Is that, is that kind of style of, uh, is that claw hammer? banjo or well no i mean everything i do is weird because i play upside down you see this so flare frailing which david burns there is a master of the thumb is doing all kinds of stuff but n normally it's doing it on that little high string but i play it backwards so i'm kind of faking everything oh okay he's <laughs> making it work fake frail so anyway back to, back to minneapolis john and, and dylan if you have one more tune and then and zoe and then then, yeah. we'll, then we'll jam with uh, the beacon gang that sounds great. It sure it sure been a pleasure meeting everybody, and and uh, pr I I hope your show prospers and continues on into the future. It's a it, it is it, it it definitely. I would probably be watching the Sunday news programs and feeling sad and thinking that every everything was do we're doomed and and stuff like that. Music is a great tonic for 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 that feeling. That's for sure. So thank you for thank providing you. this forum. That is my goal with this show. It keeps me sane. This this next song is called Sawtooth, and it's uh, it's kind of about um, somebody who maybe waited maybe waited too long to get involved, uh, maybe stood on the sidelines a little bit too long, but but finally did uh, become engaged in uh, in protest. So the song is called Sawtooth, and it's on Dylan's and my record, Months and Hick Party Supplies. Wow. 
Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to get the key. Okay, here we go. One, two. Congregated on the square. Six thousand strong like the legion <clears throat> Reflected in the riot shields. Sun shone on the riot fields. Our faces burn, but then it kneel. We grew accustomed to the glare. Congregating on the square. For months I'd loitered on the skirts As shouts grew louder to subvert A lot of things I'd stand to lose Mostly stuff I never use Old desires barely used Compromises and reviews. First navy blazers, then brown shirts, then no excuses on the skirts. Shout came in a sawtooth way, stuck a bit like aftershave, ascended past the human range. We all knew something had changed, subtle thing, but something changed harder than to disengage. What to scrap and what to say. The shout came in a sawtooth way. What to scrap and what to say. The shout came in a sawtooth way. Beautiful. Great Thank stuff. You. Great stuff. So the pandemic, by prompting a lot of indoor cogitation, seems to have created some really fine music. Yeah, I sometimes, I, I, I think I've heard myself say a few times, I don't want to hear your stupid song about the pandemic, but I think some good stuff actually did come out of it. Yeah, you know, yeah. We, I, think there, I think there's going to be like this, uh, this outburst of, of tunes um, about it, but to, to me, I'm just like I don't want to. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to talk about it. Thank God we are alive and got through it. And now let's let's assume that we can learn from that experience and march on into a into a brighter future where we um, hopefully can confront the problems that we face and and. Uh, and, and uh, make a better future for ourselves because we definitely need to do that. Here, here. Well, it's been a pleasure having you, John, back on and, uh, on, and Dylan. I really, yeah. I, I want you to know that uh, I, I watch what you do and I appreciate you. Well, it's mutual. It was so, so much fun to play with you back back in the day in University yeah, of Minnesota. That show, the little band you pulled together. Uh, what, what's the name of the guy, the pedal steel player? Oh my God. <laughs> But Joe makes Savage. an impression. Joe Savage. He's great. Yeah, he, he is an amazing musician. Unforgettable. Well, it was an unforgettable day, and today is beautiful. So thank you for being here, you guys, and good luck with the rest of your day. Right on. Great to know all of you and learn more about your work. I'll look for it more. Great. Here, we're signing off. All right, you be well. It was great, you guys. It was awesome. So, Zoe, uh, back to you. And um, I promoted your, your blog here, too, and on Twitter, Ms. Misery. Um, 
because the work you do there is very important as well. People deal, especially this past year, year and a half, but well before this, the opioid epidemic, so many things going on that uh, made for struggles, uh, even for people who might not have been predisposed to them initially. It's a really important moment to work hard on those aspects of sustainability, personal sustainability. Thank you. Yeah, I totally agree. I think that um, the pandemic has brought out a lot of stress in ways that are probably pretty subtle. Um, and it's not always easy to tell when you're struggling with your mental health. So in order to recognize that there's even a problem, it can be really helpful to see somebody else writing about it. So if nothing else, I just like validating other people's problems, letting them know that they're not alone with them. Great. So do you have another a final little musical offering for uh, this morning? Yes. Thank you again for the time you've uh, devoted to this. Of course, and thank you so much for having me on. This has been awesome. Um, I've got a song. This is an original tune that I wrote uh, in college. It's called Fall Again. I caught September's first golden leaf like autumn waving hello remember when you caught me so many falls ago seasons
When my curtain closes, center of my web of roses through fall, fall, fall. Heartbeat on my brother's fighting everything that is worth saving through fall, 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 through fall, fall, fall. Wow, gorgeous. Woo. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's got a beautiful voice. Yes. And when they and by the way, when they say that, they mean it because Laurie, Melissa, and Karen have incredible voices and harmonies and the trouble sisters they're called. And it's it's good trouble. Uh, so that's a that's a real deep compliment. And I can't can't I can't endorse it enough. Spectacular work. Well, and, so and the joke around here is we sometimes call it, put an ED on it. We call them the troubled sisters. <laughs> 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 yeah. And you're getting some nice compliments here too. Mark Tillotson says, beautiful voice. Ellie. And uh, so this stream is live on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and it's archived right away. So it's shareable anytime afterwards for those who are watching, make sure to share it with others. So back back to Beacon, but let me, I want to slip in one here from uh, my friend Vince Bell, who was on this show from down in New Mexico a long time ago, way back in the beginning. Um, yeah, I haven't been able to get him back on, but he wrote a song a number of years back called Local Charm that has a verse. I mean, the chorus is so on the spot with what's happening with global heating right now. So if you don't mind, it's, a, it's not a long song. It's three minutes. Uh, I'd like to slip it in. Uh, let me see if I can get this to play. And I'm hoping we can get Vince back. He played in Beacon at the uh, Dogwood. I don't know if any of you were there for that uh, with me and Patrick and a few others several years ago. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Chrome tab. Local charm. Share audio. I don't say those things out loud. I screw up. So I was down visiting him in New Mexico, and he said, come on down to the studio. and Let's play this and record it. And so here we go. We just did a quick, quick performance. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is my buddy Andy Revkin. I'm going to do a tune for you called Local Charm. We put on a collection in New York City once upon a time. Wow. Oh, 
party bags. Every moment less and less a forest where it never rains. A rain you won't get out. It's a pretty great song. I mean, I, he's such a great songwriter going way back when, um, who had a grievous a car accident right when his career was getting going and re, reinvented himself, reinvented his career. Put out one of the best single albums ever, I think, literally called Phoenix. Um, so it was great to, I got to connect with him again. Let's get him back east someday. So uh, back to Beacon, any last couple of songs? Any, any song that's, uh, oh wait, I see Jacob with the uh, bazooki. Yeah. And then we yeah. have one with all of us after that. So hopefully there's time. Cool. So are you okay hanging out for a little bit longer? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, we got, we got a song uh, here that is, uh, was recorded by many different artists uh, over the course of time. This is a, I learned it from a group called the Big Good Tanyas, uh, which were a Canadian sure. group in the early 2000s, I think, and uh, broke up shortly after, but called Rain and Snow. Trouble all my life ran me out in the cold, rain and snow, rain and snow, rain and snow. Trouble all my life 
Fan me out in the cold, rain and snow. Rain and snow. I love that version. Really great. Thank you. I think I was talking to Jacob about it. I've been singing the Pentangle version of that. For, you know, that's a song that crossed the Atlantic and it had different, there was a, a British version of it, then the US folk version of it. And now it's morphed into so many wonderful uh, iterations. It's just great. There's so many versions. Wonderful. That's a great one. Uh, is, is Zoe, did, Zoe, did you have another tune to throw in before we close out with this great gang and beacon? Um, sure, yeah. Absolutely. I'll pull that open here. Uh, do, do, do. So this is a song that I wrote when I was in high school, and it's had a lot of different versions. But this is the latest one with the latest lyrics. And it's called The Broken Void. Okay. Could this finally be my chance to tell you how I feel? Honestly, I can't believe that this is real. Don't waste your time pretending you don't see right through. I know that you know that I'm in love with you. Could you see it when we met? Was it written on my face? Did you find the paper stars I hid around the bay? I've sung a thousand times, but please just grant me one more song. Five minutes of a melody that's ten years long. Cause truth be told, I think you're lovely. Your laughter takes my breath away. And you wear time so handsomely on that familiar smiling face, cuter every day. You save me from misery, bring me back to earth so sweetly. You change this puppet into a girl again and change the sword in my hand into a pen. Just messing with your mind I never meant to be anything less than kind I hope that you're okay that my little teenage crush has grown into a love that I still love so much so close your eyes love and you'll see the colors that I see in you Navy teal aquamarine, every shade of human blue, the 
songs like this one stuck in a void where no one ever shouted back cold and black till that october morning when you made me fall and fall again pieces of the void where it fell and shattered at your feet are scattered still among the theater seats now i am safe and i am real and i am singing thank you thank you thank you for everything Wow. Really beautiful. Wow, you have some voice. Lovely. Thank Very you. expressive. Thank you. And the writing for me recalls uh, this is the 50th anniversary of Joni Mitchell's album Blue. And there's wow. some of some of that in there. Really nice. Wow. Thank you. Oh, another the new blue. It's that oh my god. Must be the Humidity. Uh, Joanne McGarry from up in Humboldt County, California says, love your voice, Zoe. Thank you for sharing it with us and great song and lyrics. Oh, Joanne, Do you should get on the show. <laughs> I know she really should. She's, I know she, she, she really is. Uh, she's the person who introduced us to uh, Joanne Rand, the, the spectacular yeah. songwriter from up there. So uh, we'll get, we'll get you on someday to talk about Joanne. We'll talk about your umbrella work. She goes out with a couple of lawn chairs and umbrellas and people sit there and talk and talk through their differences, which I, I want to see that. I want to see that up close and personal. That's cool. Uh, yeah, it is cool. All right, gang, uh, take us out there, Jacob and right. Jacob, David. Come on and back over just, just, you're going to sing, sing with, with us. We need yeah, to yeah. Here we go. We're ready. <laughs> well, <laughs> Andy, I think over. you've heard me sing this song before. It's by the Doobie Brothers. It's a pop hit, but uh, Absolutely. And I just love that line, without love, where would we be? So I changed a few words and a few rhythms, and now it's a folk song. And I love it. I just always ask him to do it. Down around the corner, just about a half a mile from here. You see a long train running and you watch it disappear without love. Where would you be now? Without love. The way you know I saw Miss Lucy, she down behind the track She lost her home and her family And she won't be coming back Without love Where would you be now? Without love Well, the pistons keep on turning the wheels go round and round. Life can be so cold and hard, like a steel rail running down without love. Where would you be now? Without love. Where 
Southern Central Bank. We gotta keep on pushing, Mama, cause the hour is getting late. No love. Where would you be now? Without love. Sing that one more time. Without love. So that's it for today's uh, edition of the Sunday Sanity broadcast from Columbia University, the Climate School, and the Earth Institute. Uh, fantastic Minneapolis contributions from Zoe, Zoe Plate, um, John Munson, and oh my God, Dylan Hicks, and Hicks. of course from Hicks from the, and of course from the Hudson Valley here, Jacob and David Burns, and the Trouble Sisters. Thank you all. Stay cool, stay safe, and. Uh, Share these links when we're done. These these shows live on as uh, archive videos. Uh, they'll be back. Thank you, um, thank you so much. Thank you thank for you doing so much, it. And nice uh, to we'll, you, Nice to hear you, Zoe. Yeah, yeah it's great. Yeah. Great.